Hello, I'm Josh Green, the director of the Writing Center at Northwest Mississippi Community College. In this online Writing Center orientation, I would like to look at three things. The services the Writing Center offers online, who we offer these services to, and how you can best make use of these services. First of all, what is the Online Writing Center? The Online Writing Center is a free service available to all Northwest students. It doesn't matter if you're taking one class or six classes, or if those courses are online or in person, you are a Northwest student and may take advantage of the Online Writing Center at no additional cost. We work with students at any stage of the writing process and with any writing project. You might be introduced to us through your English class, but we help students with lab reports, history and philosophy essays, scholarship applications, resumes and cover letters, and more. We also help students no matter where they're at with the writing. Whether you've written a full draft or haven't written anything yet, the Online Writing Center is here to help. Our goal is always for you to improve the piece of writing you're working on, but every time you use the Online Writing Center, you're developing your skills as a writer. Each time you work with us, you're improving. I mentioned that we help students no matter where they're at with a writing project. So what are the stages of the writing process? They are planning, drafting, revising, and editing. And the Online Writing Center can help at each of those stages. Have you ever received a writing assignment and did not understand what the instructor was asking you to do? We can help you plan how you will complete the assignment. We work with plenty of students who just got their assignment that week and want to get some help getting started. When they work with us, they'll likely leave the session with an outline and a thesis statement, everything they need to start off on the right track with this project. And don't worry about admitting that you haven't gotten started yet. When you use the Online Writing Center, you'll be working with other students who have been trained to help you. They're familiar with all of your assignments, and they're students too, so they totally understand needing a little help to get started. The next stage is drafting. This is where your writing starts to take shape, because it's your first attempt at completing the project. When you have an appointment with the Online Writing Center, use this as an opportunity to discuss your ideas, get feedback early in the process, and learn some strategies for completing the project. Like with the planning stage, it can be hard to get started. Everyone needs a little help, and that's what the Online Writing Center is here for. Remember, no one here is going to judge your first attempt at getting this thing done. We're here to help. After you have completed a draft, your work isn't done, and neither is ours. We can help with revision and editing, but what's the difference between these two stages? Revision means making major changes, such as moving paragraphs around to improve organization, rewriting sentences to make them clearer or to better fit the topic of the paper, helping you expand on your ideas with more details, and even more. Editing is the final polishing stage, where we help you focus on grammar, punctuation, and word choices. Some students want to skip right from the drafting stage to the editing stage. Have you ever heard the saying, putting lipstick on a pig? Why would you want to work so hard to polish a piece of writing that doesn't yet meet the assignment requirements, or that doesn't meet the goals you set for that piece of writing? At the revision stage, we will help you move stuff around, reword unclear sentences, or finally finish that conclusion that you didn't know how to start. Think of us as another reader. We're not your instructor. We're not a judge or jury. We're interested readers who want to help you make this piece of writing the best it can be. Only after doing that can we really move on to the polishing stage. It sure would be nice to just give us that paper and say, hey, can you go through and correct everything so it looks really nice? I'll check back in an hour. We don't do that because we're trying to help you learn how to do this stuff on your own. 
We won't be there when you transfer to a university and need to write a paper for a really hard class, or when you enter the job market and need to email your boss. That's why we help you learn how to make your own corrections. We do this by identifying patterns in your writing, showing you how to fix the first few, and then letting you do the rest. That practice is really important so that you can take over and learn to do it on your own. Remember, we're not just trying to help you improve this one piece of writing, but to become a better writer overall. This is what you can expect when you schedule an online appointment with us. We'll help you no matter where you're at with a project and make sure you have strategies to successfully complete it. But we know sometimes you don't have time for an appointment. That's why we have some resources online that you can access anytime. We have handouts on writing thesis statements, summarizing and responding to readings, using MLA and APA citation styles, and more. We're adding new items all the time, and you can always access them under the Resources menu on the main page of the Writing Center at northwestms.edu forward slash write. I know you can Google for similar information, but I can't vouch for what you'll find there. The materials on the Northwest Writing Center site have been developed for Northwest classes and approved by Northwest instructors. It's the best information you can find when working on projects for our school. Make sure to visit us at northwestms.edu forward slash write. You'll be really glad you did. Let's take a look at how to create a new account for the Online Writing Center, make your first appointment, and join that appointment. From the main page of Northwest, you can click on Students or go down to the bottom of that list and click on More. Then at the bottom of the next list, you can click on Writing Centers. You can also always navigate to northwestms.edu forward slash write. That will always take you right to the Writing Center homepage. On this page, you'll see a question where it asks first visit and then says start by registering with your email address here. You can click on that to create a new account. I'm going to create a new test account here. You do not need to use your Northwest email address. It should be any email that you check regularly. I'm going to enter my phone number and my first language. For major, if you don't have one yet, you can just enter general studies. For the password, it does need to be at least 10 characters, and you need to enter it in the left and the right box, and they do need to match. You can just leave all these email preferences defaulted. And then in the last thing, it's going to ask you to enter a mobile phone number. You do not have to give us a cell phone number, but if you do, you will receive text reminders of upcoming appointments. It can be useful if you schedule an appointment far in advance, then you will receive that text reminder. I'm going to go ahead and click Complete Registration and it'll tell me my account was created successfully and that now I can log in. I'm going to navigate back to the main page of the Northwest website in order to log in from there. So I'm going to go back to northwestms.edu, click on Students, and then click on Writing Centers.
Now I'm going to log in using the information I just entered. And notice it says select your campus. We're going to get that to get to that in just a minute, so I'm going to leave it Senatobia for now. And now I get into the scheduler. So there are a few things I want to show you here. First of all, the color scheme, the dark blue areas are unavailable time. The light blue areas are appointments that are already taken. And then the white boxes are available appointment times. And you'll notice I can see this full week. And I can also navigate over to the next week if I want. And I can click on the calendar icon to move a month ahead, for example. You have access to the entire semester's worth of schedule. So this can be really nice when you want to plan ahead. You may not need the Writing Center right away, but you might think, I have a major project coming up near the end of the semester, so I'm going to go ahead and schedule that appointment now. We do tend to get really busy around midterms and final exams, so keep that in mind. The last thing we want to happen is that you have a writing assignment due the next day, and you're trying to get in for an appointment, but we are all full up and nobody is available to work with you that day. But I want to go ahead and get an appointment today. So I see some availability here at 1230. So I'm going to click on that. It's going to bring up the new appointment window. It's automatically going to default to half an hour. We schedule appointments for at least 30 minutes long, but you can have up to an hour. So if I wanted an hour, I would just click on this and go ahead and change it to 1.30. But I'm going to leave it just a 30-minute appointment for now. Right here, you'll see the question, Meet Online. And this is where I want to click Yes, Schedule Online Appointment. That is how to schedule your online Writing Center visit. Then it's going to ask me what course I'm coming in for. I'm going to say it's my English Composition 1 course. It's going to ask for my instructor's name. I'm going to enter it there. Have I been to the Writing Center to discuss this assignment before? I'm going to say no. Often we will have students bring the same assignment in multiple times because maybe they come in at the planning stage and then return after they have a full draft for the revision stage. Is this appointment mandatory or required by the instructor? I'm going to say no in this case. Then it's going to have some questions about what stage of the writing process I'm in. This is just an estimate. If you schedule something far in advance because you think you're going to have a full draft, so you're going to be revising that draft by that point, but then that day comes and you don't have anything written yet, you're going to be working furiously on this that day, that's fine. We just use this as an estimate. So I'm going to say at this point, I'm really just still in the pre-writing and the preparing stage. Maybe I just got this assignment and I want to start off on the right track, so I'm making my appointment now. Standing is select what year you are in college, what campus you're studying on. So I'm going to select the Oxford campus. This drop-down is just for uh, dual enrollment students. So if you are one of our dual enrollment students at a high school, we ask that you select which high school you're with. 
and then tell us about the assignment that you're working on. This can just be whatever the instructor calls this assignment. I'm going to say that I have a literacy narrative that I'm bringing in. And then you get to the very bottom and you just click create appointment. It'll say your appointment was saved successfully. It'll show here again that I created an online appointment. Give me confirmation of when I scheduled that appointment and who I scheduled that appointment with. So I can go ahead and close this window. And you'll notice on the scheduler now, my appointment shows up in yellow. It highlights it in yellow just to remind you that this is your appointment. You will also receive an email confirmation that that appointment has been created. And if you entered a cell phone number, you will receive a text reminder when that appointment is coming up. So now that I have my appointment, I can log off. And before my appointment tomorrow, I will log back in and join that appointment. It's the next day and I'm ready for my appointment. So I'm going to navigate back to the Writing Center website to join my online appointment. This time I'm going to do that by going to northwestms.edu forward slash write. It'll take me right to the home page of Northwest. I'm going to log in from this page. Select the campus that I scheduled the appointment with. Remember, when using the online writing center, you can schedule at either the Senatobia or the DeSoto campus. If you can't find a time that works well for you at one campus, try the other schedule and they might have some availability that works better for you. I scheduled my online appointment with the Senatobia campus, so I'm going to log in there. Here's my upcoming appointment. It is highlighted in yellow for me, so I am going to click my appointment and then notice here where it says start or join online consultation. I'm going to click on that. It will open up a new window It may ask you if you want to allow microphone and camera access. This is if the laptop you are working on has a webcam and a microphone enabled. I'm going to go ahead and click OK to allow that to see it pop up. You don't have to use a webcam and a microphone in order to have an online appointment though. So I'm actually going to turn it off. I am not going to share that today. You'll see in the center window, we have some additional instructions. Welcome to your appointment with the Writing Center at Northwest. If your computer is equipped with a webcam and microphone, we can use those to talk about what you're working on. If you'd rather call in, please leave this window open and dial this number. That phone number that will be included there is a way you can talk to the consultant you're working with. You'll also notice that it says, we'll paste a link to an editable Google Doc in the chat window. That is where we'll ask you to paste your assignment sheet and any writing you've done so far. When we're done, we'll remind you to save or print that document so you'll have what we worked on today. I look over here in the chat window and I see, yes, there is a link to a Google Doc. So I'm gonna click on that now. Again, it will open up a new window. So in this Google Doc, both you and the consultant can see everything that's written in here. One of the first things that the consultant is going to ask you for is your assignment sheet. And you can go ahead and paste that in this Google Doc. 
So I found my assignment sheet on my Canvas site. Here is the assignment that my instructor gave me. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this whole assignment sheet and then right click to copy it or you can hit Control C or Command C on an Apple. I'm going to go back to that Google Doc and go ahead and paste it in there. Now I have my whole assignment sheet there and the person I'm working with can also see that assignment sheet. We will talk about the requirements. I made this appointment to start generating ideas. So maybe my first concern is that I'm not sure which articles to focus on, or I have my articles, but I'm not sure how to begin this. So you and the consultant can work here to start creating an outline. Everything you type, the consultant can see as well. The consultant can also highlight portions of the text to zero you in on those bits. So maybe we work on an outline for a while and we get a bunch of points and a few sub points. At the end of my appointment, and the consultant will always remind you of this, I am going to want to save all this work that I just did. So I will go to File, go to Download, and then I can download it in a variety of formats. Maybe I choose to download it as a Word file. And I can save that. And now I can go back to that saved document. You can have your online appointment from any computer that has internet access. So this might be a computer at your school or at your library or another computer lab that you have access to at a public library. You can also certainly access your online appointment from a home computer as long as it has internet access. Again, you do not need a webcam and a microphone. You can just call in and talk that way. So now that I've finished up my appointment, I'm going to go ahead and close out this window. And now that I'm done with my appointment, I can close out my appointment window. And that's how to create a new account, schedule your online appointment, and join your online appointment.